yes indeed we are rolling okay i just wanted to make a short video y'all first off i'm kevin bailey with the dream river bait company we uh, manufacture the uh, chum and catch but we're going to do things a little bit different today today i want to touch base with deer meat and and some of the parts of the deer meat that a lot of people just chunk away or really they don't uh prepare it correctly today i want to show you this is actually just about a half of a deer shoulder and like i said a lot of times people throw it away and uh that's a bad thing because there's you can really cook it up so it is just absolutely delicious but first off too i want to tell you that i don't want to take credit for this video i had actually seen a video similar to the one that i'm making a yankee boy up there in michigan did it but uh uh, he had the right idea and I'm glad he did because too many people take these this part of the meat and they waste it and it's, and it's a shame uh, You know what God gives you. I think you ought to use it to the very fullest But let me go ahead and start right now. I got my grill fired up right now It's heating up and I'm on a, I'm on a sear it really good. I'm getting the grill really good and hot But let me put my glasses on so I can see what doggone I'm doing This uh, Everglades uh, it's an all-purpose season. Yummy. It's real good. Take and just sprinkle a little bit of that on there. It's real good. That's right. Tell you what, I'm going to put it all on one side, then I'm going to flip it. Got a little garlic powder. Ooh, don't go too heavy. All right, a little bit of garlic powder. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of parsley flake on here. I wish it had real garlic, but it didn't. And... Yeah, put a little bit of black cup on him. Make it good, yes sir. This, like I said, this is just a little bit, so we're gonna put it on here for a uh, And I'll we'll put just a little bit of salt, not much at all. Not much at all, that's about it, okay. Because after a while, we're gonna put some of that uh, um, beef uh, stock on there and that's already got enough salt in it. I got the 50% less sodium in there But it still has a plenty. Okay, put a little bit more black pepper on here Now look in here too in preparing this uh, uh, Shoulder what you ought to do Is try to cut off as much of that silver skin as possible You know any bit of that silver skin that you can take off of there Well, it, it's just gonna be that much or less that you got to contend with whenever it's ready to eat that, oh, and another thing too. Now, a lot of people, this is crushed red pepper. Uh, they go, wow, why are you putting crushed red pepper on? Well, we, me and my wife, we like just a little bit of a <laughs> extra kick there. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay. Got that. Got the black pepper. Pretty much got it all right there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm fixing to go put this on the grill uh, and sear it. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put it in the let's do it this way in the pot here in the old um, roast pot now this these things right here you don't have to worry about getting anything expensive you go get one of these things right here walmart for about i think i paid 15 bucks for it something like that wasn't much but it, it cooks good okay now so Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here. Then we'll go outside. I'll show you how to put it on the grill and so forth. And then we'll come back in and we'll stick it. Hey, uh, watch this, y'all. Oh. oh, yeah. Let's sit right there and sear up a little bit. Also, I didn't mention to you before uh, putting this thing on the grill like that. You might want to spray it down with some olive oil. I'd had sprayed it down because you know, dear me, it doesn't have a bunch of fat in it. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's a nice sear right there. Uh huh. Put it right there and just let it sear up a little bit more. There it is. Oh, yeah. This is well seared. And by the way, I didn't mention to you, but this is actually only about half of a deer shoulder. Although, because that's just me and my wife at home these days. Come on in, Johnny. Simply, I already got my, my oven preheated. Simply put it in there. Add a couple boxes of this beef broth. I get about 50% less sodium. Okay, put it in there. Very simple to do, very simple to do. You know, after you put it together, you stick it in there, and, and as my daughter says, forget about it. <laughs> His wife, 
forget about it. Stick it in there and forget about it. Add a couple of these here. All, like I said, I already got the uh, oven preheated at 375. I'll put it in there. Cook it for about an hour and a half. And then, covered. And then I'll come back and cook it for about another, add all my vegetables. Cook it for about another hour or so. And it'll be done. And it'll make your wife happy. As Phil Robinson would say, happy, happy, happy. Which a little bit so you can see it better. Yes. And there it is. There's the masterpiece right there. Now, for the sake of sparing y'all the boredom of watching me cut all these vegetables up, I pre-cut them up. And hold on a second. I don't know about that one. Let me get this way. Carrots, onions, potatoes, and celery. Okay. Stir these babies around a little bit. Now, with all these vegetables added to this, I know I'm going to have to add a little bit more salt. Ooh. Okay. A little bit more salt. I think I better put the spectacles on here. See what I'm doing. Because I added very little salt to it before. Let me just add a little bit of salt. Nothing like that. No more now. If we need some more, we can add to it. But you don't want to add too much. Now, that's pretty much it. Stick this baby back in there. Put it back in there and cook it for about another hour and a half or until everything's good and tender. And then the true test will come when second. Alright, you stick that baby back in there. Now, see this is so easy and to think people throw these things away. They're, they're, they're crazy. They're nuts is what they are. Timer. One. Take that thing off. Alright. Alright, put it on there for another hour and a half. Hey folks, I think it's just about that time to check it out. Let's see hats. Let's see if it's done yet. It's been in there about three hours now. purpose in making this video is to make everybody aware of all the good foods that you can find in the rivers and the woods that God blesses us with. And if he blesses you with a harvest like this, please by all means don't waste it. Don't waste it. This brings to mind, I won't mention any hunting clubs, but I went to a hunting club once and I found where some deers have been killed and they simply Cut the back straps out and left the rest there just to rot. Please don't do that. When you can have a meal like this, oh, come on. Oh, man, this is what you call this fall off the bone tender. Honey, do you want to try it? Okay, well, I guess I'll, I'll try it first. Show these. Okay. Oh, my goodness, look at this. I wish I could get this better. Let me put this right over here. Yeah, this is kind of unprofessional like. Look at this. This is just fall off the bone tender. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll be the taste tester. Or okay. Oh my goodness. 
Mm. That is so unbelievable. Mm. Man, that's delicious. Folks, this little video was brought to you by the folks at Dream River Bait Company, makers of the Chum and Catch. If you live in a region where catfishing sometimes gets tough, please, by all means, check us out at www.dreamriverbait.com, and I promise you, you'll catch more fish. Until next time, this is Kevin Bailey with the Dream River Bait Company.